My name is Scott Fisher. I am a guitar player, a piano player. Uh, I write a lot of music and produce for other people as well, and also do quite a bit of mixing. I grew up in Portland, Oregon, and now I live in Los Angeles. The new single is called Still the Same. I'm excited for everyone to hear it. Produced by the great Tim Lefebvre and myself, we recorded it at the Sonic Ranch in east of El Paso in Tornillo, Texas, a lovely recording studio where I met Tim, and we've been working on a few projects ever since. Uh, still the same. The new LP came together very quickly. In three weeks, I wrote the whole record and demoed it. And then a few months later, I met Tim at the Sonic Ranch in Texas, and we started working on it down there. Uh, the inspiration for the new song, it's a bit of a Motown with some modern bedroom pop feel. Uh, very talented Jeff Anthony on the drums, and then Tim played the bass and the Mellotron, a lot of really cool Mellotron melodies that we put on there. And then I played piano and guitar and sang. Uh, the theme of the song is about arrested development and friendship and how we grow apart from some of our close friends as we get older and, and how to reconcile our differences and, and still love them. I love the creative process, the feeling when you have a completed work that you're proud of uh, and that you're emotionally connected with is very rewarding. Uh, I think I love the, f the songs that come quickly where it's more of a flow state and it almost feels like the music is coming from somewhere else. Uh, those are the most rewarding songwriting sessions and I think that's what lots of writers seek out. Of course, that's not always the case and there is a lot of work to it and sometimes you really have to do multiple drafts and multiple arrangements, especially if there's collaborations. Um, but certainly the inspired muse that comes to you and, and you can write something in a short amount of time that feels very inspired. I feel like that's when I do my best work and that's what I think a lot of songwriters seek out and it's not always available but we always look for it. That was certainly the case with this new record for me. Uh, I have a new album coming out at the end of September. It's called Kingdom of Ego and I was in a bit of a writing slump and I was working on quite a few projects for other people and mixing in the studio which is definitely a different mindset. It's other people's work and there's a lot of technical aspects to mixing and so I was in that sort of state of mind and I knew I had a scheduled recording session where I theoretically was going to record a new record and I didn't have any new material that I was excited about and basically in a three-week period I wrote 12 new tracks uh, it was a bit of a manic session because I was staying up most of the night and just sleeping, waking up and writing again. And I demoed the whole record in a very short amount of time. And it certainly felt fresh and new and inspired. And I think uh, I've been trying to, to write more quickly and not hang on to ideas. And uh, as long, I think keeping the fresh inspired energy uh, just adds a lot more uh, passion to the, the whole session. So this new record came about very quickly like that and this particular song still the same which is coming out here uh, very soon was one of those that maybe from the beginning of the idea to me going to my studio demoing it, singing it, playing all the parts arranging it. It might have been six, seven hour period and those are always very rewarding and I, I'm excited about it. Well, first of all, just sit down and write and don't be too judgmental 
or harder on yourself, leave, leave that out of the equation during the writing process. And don't think that you're going to write a perfect song uh, the first few times out or, you know, even the thousandth time out. Uh, put the idea down and then come back to it and then you can assess it a little bit more objectively. But during the writing process, uh, try not to filter what you're hearing and where your instincts are taking you. Um, also, I would say dig into some of the great songs of all time. You know, for me, it was going back and, and learning Motown songs and Beatles songs and digging into the nuances of, of those songs. The, and really learning the chords, the altered chords, the bass lines, the passing tones, all those things that a beginning writer is not going to notice, but those are the things that, that really make the song go to another level. So learning and dissecting some of the great songs of the past is incredibly informative and helpful uh, when approaching songwriting. But then when you sit down to write, try to leave that somewhere else and, and not filter your thoughts and just put something down and do it again and again and eventually you'll probably get something that sounds pretty nice. <laughs>